How's it going, everybody? Welcome back, my prepper people, aka survivors. Today, I want to go over something that I believe not a lot of preppers talk about. Um, and if you want to stay tactical and technical, stay tuned. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the process of aversion and um, basically the art of escaping. So, a lot of times we talk about you know, higher caliber, stopping power, we're talking about bug out situations and, and prepping food, but I haven't really heard anybody talk about uh, the this item here. So you probably um, have seen them if you ever played any type of uh, paintball or something like that. And for some of y'all that have um, some, you know, grandchildren or some kids that play paintball or airsoft, I like to think outside the box. So I'm always looking for a prepper item that may not be the conventional. So these here are basically pouring, uh, pouring uh, basically smoke screens. And you might be asking yourself, why is a Gemini prepper talking to me about um, smoke screens? So they come in little small ones like this where you can put on your vest or on your belt or whatever. However you have your rig set up or your gear set up. And they also have these larger ones that burn for a longer period of time. Now, again, these are just for airsoft or paintball, right? So what does that mean? If you don't know what airsoft and paintball is, I'll explain it to you. So airsoft and paintball is basically a simulated war where they have things like this as they use as smoke screens. So what would the implication be in a prepper situation or a grid down or a SHTF situation? Well, I'm going to go through that right now. And basically that situation would be that say you had somebody breaking into the home and you wanted to kind of put some cover uh, down a hallway so they couldn't see what was going on past that hallway. You'd be able to kind of pull this, throw this into the hallway, and then you'd be able to have that. That So I can tell you, I've used this outside and they work very well. I'll probably uh, add a video right now um, of what that looks like. So, so basically you can see there's a lot of smoke that's created. Now imagine that inside of a home where there isn't a draft, it's gonna create a lot of smoke um, and the good thing about it is, is you can direct that smoke. So if you were to set this down just like this, the smoke is going to come out. Um, this is does burn hot. So if you're putting it on a rug or something like that, this will burn the floor. Uh, um, it will burn the floor. It will burn up the rug. So it is, um, it is a little bit dangerous, but firearms are dangerous. Anything that you use that is going to be used in a, tech, a tactical situation is going to be uh, dangerous overall. So that's the most important thing you want to remember. So, um, you know, this is just my little my little idea. They have these little big ones here. So let's say you're outside. You're bugging out. All of a sudden, you know, you made your beautiful fire and it, it, the smoke is, is covered, but somebody spots you. Okay, and they're hot. They're hostile people. You could throw a couple of these, whoop, and they're not going to actually see your body leaving the situation. They sell these in all different colors. I would suggest getting them in black. Um, the reason I say that is because to me the the smoke is a lot thicker. Um, not thicker, but it's it's denser, so you can't see through it. Also, too, last thing you want to do is draw other people. If somebody sees black, they're just going to think it's fire or some sort of something like that if you have an orange or a purple fire or a red fire or a red smoke i'm sorry it's probably going to cause more attention um but yeah black smoke would just be like something's on fire so i hope that you guys add some of these they have these smaller ones here um and then they have some larger ones here um, and then they also have some really big ones that you can throw down. But if, again, if there was an intruder, if you had to get out of the situation and you weren't looking to fight, maybe you're injured, somebody in your unit is injured, somebody in your family is injured, whatever the situation is, I'm pretty sure my prepper people could come up with a use for these. Um, these are generally around like eight, uh, eight to $10. They don't cost a lot of money. You could buy a couple of them, put them in your bag. I mean, Hell, you could put one right in your pocket. I mean, this is small enough where it'll fit right in here. Let me open this up to show you. So you could throw it right in your pocket. 
and cover this up so we don't and just throw it right in there. You could have a couple. Uh, you could have some on uh, on your duty belt or your rig. You can have some on your um, on your plate carrier. You could do it any way you wanted to. This is a great tool as long as it's used properly. Any tool is great if it's used properly. A tool that's been used improperly is no longer a proper tool. It's just an item that is being used improperly. So um, definitely want to start thinking outside the box, especially since our situation seems to change here in the U.S. of A., um, and we definitely want to stay on top of different methods of being tactical, right? And, and, and also ways to evade. If you don't have the right firepower, if you don't have the right weapons to defend yourself, you want to be able to get out of dodge at that moment. So, remember and always remember, uh, stay tactical, stay technical, and till next time. All right, my prepper people. I am the Gemini Prepper, and as always, be technical, be tactical, and like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, turn on that notification bell, and uh, always stay prepared. Gemini Prepper.